This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new season of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. I'm your host, Nancy Moeller. We are so happy that you have joined us again this year. We have 16 teams ready to go, ready to play. Some of the brightest God-given minds in this region. We're gonna introduce you to those players in just a little bit. You're going to see Van Wert take on Elida and later on St. Mary's will face off against Continental. We have our judge joining us again this year, Mark Dickman, we're so glad to to have him back with us. Hopefully we won't have to use him too much, but um, we will see. All right, I'm going to introduce you to our players now. Joining us from Van Wert, we have Kaylee Jennings, Natalie Schreiber, Will Ogden, and Ethan White. Van Wert is coached by Anita Zuber. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Elida. We have Ethan Bowersock joining us. John Free, Molly Wright, and Alana Sherelds. Elida is coached by Shelby Klutz. Welcome to all of you as well. All right, I know that we have some brand new players, never on this set before, so I just want you to all relax and have a good time. Just make sure that when you buzz in that you answer as loudly as possible so that our judge and those at home can hear you. And please make your answers as complete as possible, okay? We have this first round and it's 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. They're all up for grabs, so get those buzzers ready. Is everyone set to go? Okay, here we go. Question number one. What 13th and 14th century Asian empire became the largest land empire in history? Yes, that would be Elida. Uh, the Mongolian. That is correct, the Mongolian Empire. All right, number two, the legendary Sasquatch is also known by what other name? Yes, that would be Elida. Bigfoot? Bigfoot is the answer. Question three, what is the flesh-eating fish found in Central? Yes, that would be Van Wert. The piranha? Piranha is the answer there. All right, moving on to question number four. Everyone's doing just fine. On a piano keyboard, what is another name for B sharp? Elida. C flat. That is incorrect, Van Wert. C. C is the answer. Question number five. What is also known as an acute myocardial infarction? Yes, that would be Elida. A heart attack? A heart attack is correct. Question number six. What A word describes the sailors who sailed in quest of the Golden Fleece? Yes, Van Wert. The Argonauts. Argonauts is correct. Question number seven. Deer ticks can be the carrier of what disease? Yes, that would be Elida. Lyme disease. Lyme disease is the answer. Question eight. What British explorer was murdered in the Hawaiian Islands in 17... Yes, that would be Elida. Uh, James Cook. That is correct, James Cook. All right, two questions remaining in this round. Name the reading disorder that begins with a D. Van Wert. Dyslexia. Dyslexia is correct. And here's the final question in your first round of the first season game. Who was the wife of the second U.S. president? Yes, Elida. Nancy Adams. That is incorrect. Van Wert, you want to try it? Abigail Adams. Abigail Adams is the answer. All right, take a deep breath. You got through that. Very good. All right, here is our score between Van Wert and Elida. It's a tough one. It is tied at 50 points apiece. We're going to take a break. We'll come back with the second and third rounds right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, 
the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we're moving into the second round of competition between Elida and Van Wert High Schools. We have a tie right now. Both teams stand at 50 points. Elida, due to a coin toss, you are going to take these first five questions. They are all yours. Please buzz in, though, with your answers, and please speak up if you could. All right, question number one. Seward's Folly is associated with what U.S. state? Yes. Alaska. Alaska is the answer. Very good. Name the American vice president that was inaugurated on the same day as the 45th president. Yes. Mike Pence. Mike Pence is the answer. All right. The initials USPS stand for what? Yes, Elida. United States Postal Service. You are correct. Moving on to question number four. Amethyst is the birthstone for what month? Elida. February. February is correct. And you have one final question here in the second round. What condition causes the clouding of the normally clear lens of your eye? Elida. Glaucoma. Glaucoma is incorrect. The answer is cataract. All right, Van Wert, are you ready? It's your turn. Your five questions are all yours, but please ring in, buzz in with your answers. Here we go. The alarm pheromone for bees smell like what fruit? Time is up. The answer is banana. All right, number two. The novel Frankenstein was written by whom? Yes. Mary Shelley. Mary Shelley is correct. Give the F word that describes a flourish of trumpets. Uh, fanfare. Fanfare is correct. Okay, you have two questions remaining. What three letter term is another name for the wildebeest? A yak? Yak is incorrect. The answer is new, as in G-N-U. All right, last question in the second round. What type of wood was Noah's Ark built with? Cedar. Cedar is incorrect. The answer is gopher wood. All right, we've come to the end of our second round, and here is the score now between Elida and Van Wert. Elida with 70 points, Van Wert, you have 60. Again, we're moving into our final round. These are 10 questions, we're 10 points apiece. Everybody get the buzzers ready, please speak up. Here we go, number one. What is the artificial sweetener or chemical? Yes, that would be Van Wert. Splenda. Splenda is incorrect. Elida, would you like me to complete the question? Okay. What is the artificial sweetener or chemical in NutraSweet? Yes. Stevia. That is also incorrect. The answer is aspartame. All right, question two. In what country is Mount Ararat, where Noah's Ark is said to have landed? Yes, Elida? Nepal. That is incorrect. Van Wert, do you want to try it? No. Nope. The answer is Turkey. All right, question three. Name the hardest known gemstone. Yes, Van Wert. Diamond. Diamond is correct. What name is given to the rim of the basin of the Pacific Ocean where many earthquakes and volcanic? Yes, that would be Van Wert. Mid-Pacific Ridge. That is incorrect. Elida? Uh, the Pacific Rim. That is also incorrect. The answer is the Ring of Fire. 
All right, number five. Canberra is the capital city of what country? Yes, that would be Elida. Australia. Australia is correct. All right, moving on, we're almost wrapped up here. Question number six, give the name of the famous San Antonio mission. Yes, that would be Elida. The Alamo? The Alamo is the correct answer. In the Middle Ages, alchemists tried to burn base metal into what valuable metal? Yes, that would be Elida. Gold? Gold is the answer. All right, three questions remaining here. Name the most frequently crossed international border. Yes, that would be Van Wert. Mexico, U.S. border. That is correct, U.S. and Mexico. And two questions remain. Name the capital of Jamaica. Yes, Elida. Kingston. Kingston is correct. And your final question in this game. Which son, uh, which son of King David cut his hair once a year? Yes, that would be Elida. Samson. Samson is correct. Van Wert. You want to try? The answer is Absalom. All right, we have come to the end of our first game of this season between Elida and Van Wert. And here's our final score. If I could see that again on the monitor, that would be great. All right, Van Wert, 80 points. Elida, you are the winners with 110 points. You'll be moving on in competition. And we'll be back with our next game between St. Mary's and Continental right after this. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we have one winner on the board now for the fall season of Wiz Quiz. Elida competed against Van Wert and came out the winner there. So they will take on the eventual winner of this team, of this game between St. Mary's and Continental. All right, let's introduce you to our players joining us from St. Mary's. We have Kara Ionson, Alex Motter, Courtney Zumbrogel, and Luke Schlomer and St. Mary's is coached by Chad Dahl. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Continental. Joining us is Josh Wagner, Connor Mag, Riley Fenter, and Sierra Proent. And Continental is coached by Nathan Schmidt. All right, welcome to all of you. Okay, we have a lot of new faces here. Many of you have probably not played before, so we want to remind you that our first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. They are up for grabs, so get the buzzers ready. Please speak as loudly as possible and make your answers as complete as possible. All right, let's have some fun. 10 questions, question number one in this first round. Name the three parts of a triathlon. Yes, that would be continental. Running, bicycling, bike, bicycling, and swimming. You are correct, very good. All right, question two. What did Poe's Raven keep repeating? Yes, continental. Nevermore. Nevermore is the answer. Moving on, number three. Name the large lake in Florida north of the Everglades. Time is up, teams. The answer is Okeechobee. All right, number four. Who gave the Statue of Liberty to the United States? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. France. France is correct. Number five. Name the 2,000 mile long Pioneer Trail out west. Yes, that would be Continental. Oregon Trail. The Oregon Trail is the right answer. Number six in this first round. 
What is the emotional name given to the U.S. flag during the Civil War? Yes, St. Mary's. Old Glory. Old Glory is correct. Name the tree that begins with an A that trembles in the slightest, yes, St. Mary's. Aspen. Aspen is correct. Question number eight. Name the 2017 movie that depicted the evacuation of British soldiers from the beaches, yes, St. Mary's. Dunkirk. Dunkirk is the answer there. All right, you have two questions remaining in round one. Which state has the slogan, live free or die? St. Mary's. Massachusetts. Massachusetts is incorrect. Continental, you want to try it? Yes. Texas. Texas, also incorrect. The answer is New Hampshire. All right, one question remains in round one. In Greek mythology, who was the king of all gods? St. Mary's. Zeus. Zeus is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of round one. Here is our score. St. Mary's, you have 50 points. Continental with 30. That means, St. Mary's, you're going to lead the second round. You're going to have five questions with five points apiece. They're exclusively, exclusively yours. Let me get that out. But please make sure that you buzz in with your answers anyway, okay? What is the bony plated rodent found in the southern U.S.? Yes. The armadillo. Armadillo is correct. What book begins? The boy with fair hair lowered himself down the last few feet of rock and began to pick his way towards the lagoon. Yes. Tom Sawyer. That is incorrect. The answer is the Lord of the Flies. All right. During the Depression, what was a disparaging name for a native of Oklahoma? Yes. Sooner. That is incorrect. The answer is Oki. All right. Two questions remaining in this second round. What amusement park is located in Sandusky, Ohio? Yes. Cedar Point. Cedar Point. I'm glad you got that right. And our final question. What name is given to a tidal wave produced by earthquakes? Yes. Tsunami. Tsunami is correct. All right. Moving over to Continental now for your five questions. Remember to please buzz in. What is an expression from the French that means something new, unconventional? No? Answer is avant-garde. Right. Name the angel that proclaimed good tidings of great joy in the New Testament. The answer here is Gabriel. All right, three questions remaining. Identify the slang term that begins with a G for a woman who's after a man's money. Gold yeah. digger? Gold digger is the answer. What is the ancient Chinese medical treatment that uses needles? Acupuncture. Yes, acupuncture is correct. And here's your final question in the second round. According to Dr. Seuss, who stole Christmas? Yes. The Grinch. The Grinch is correct. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two. Here is our score. Continental, 45 points. St. Mary's with 65. We'll be back with a final round right after this. Stay right there. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, welcome back, everyone. We're right in the middle of the game between St. Mary's and Continental. Our score, St. Mary's was 65 points. Continental, you have 45. 
We're moving into our final round. This is 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Everybody get the buzzers ready. And let's go. Question number one. Alcatraz is located near what city? Yes, St. Mary's. San Francisco. San Francisco is correct. Name the Hall of Fame located in Cleveland. Yes. Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is correct. All right, question number three. Lake Nasser is part of what great African river? Yes, St. Mary's. The Nile. The Nile is the answer there. North Vietnam is bordered by what gulf? St. Mary's. The Gulf of Tonkin. That is the answer, the Gulf of Tonkin. All right, question five. What nation's flag has a large black R in the middle? The answer is Rwanda. All right, we are moving on to question number six now. What species is the largest living tree? St. Mary's. Redwood. We will accept that answer. The redwood is correct. All right, question seven. The Hoover Dam is on what famous river? Yes, St. Mary's. Colorado River. Colorado River is the answer there. Okay, we have three questions remaining in the game. Name the only species of bird that has the ability to fly backwards. Yes, St. Mary's. The hummingbird. Hummingbird is correct. Number nine, what are white cells that attack viruses and bacteria called? St. Mary's. White blood cells. That is incorrect. Continental, you want to try? An yes. Antiphage. I'm sorry? Antiphage. Nope, that's also incorrect. Antibodies is what we're looking for, or lymphocytes. Okay, last question. Name the burner used to heat chemical solutions. Yes, that would be Continental. Bunsen. Bunsen burner is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of our game between St. Mary's and Continental, and here is our final score. Continental, you have 65 points. St. Mary's, the winner, with 125. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you for playing with us this season. And we want to thank you for playing at home. We hope to see you back here next week. Until then, have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.